this is Shu coming to you live from Alaska. I've been sent on a very special mission to try and track down the merc that they call Hunter. So far, I was but seeing no sign of him, which can only mean one thing. He must be on his way to London already. Without further ado, as I know you guys can't wait, here's game designer Kate to take you through our Alaskan assassin. Hunter submit to long-ranged merc armed with a crossbow and pistols. His crossbow can be equipped with either a standard bolt or an EMP bolt. The standard bolt deals damage and spots enemy players when hit. These bolts can also be charged up by aiming down his scope, making them deal more damage at the cost of a slower fire rate. The EMP bolt deals less damage than the standard bolt, but triggers an electromagnetic pulse on impact, which disables all deployables within a small area for a short duration. Hunter is also carrying a brand new machine pistol, combat pistol and a melee weapon. Hunter has a lot of flexibility in how he engages the enemy, and the ability to disrupt from long ranges makes him a very interesting pick. And the best thing about Hunter? You haven't got long to wait, as he'll be hitting the game next week. When Hunter goes live, not only will you be able to pick up the latest Merc in the store, but you'll also find a special edition bundle available too. The Hunter Arctic Pack will come with the Merc himself, along with his special edition loadout, featuring all three new weapons. For those of you who have the All Merc Pack, we've heard your cries, and have no fear, as you'll also be able to pick up his special edition loadout card on its own in the store. With Phantom's rework hitting the game next week, you'll be able to pick up the BL64 Premium Operative Obsidian Loadout card. To celebrate this, and Hunter joining the gang, we're giving five of you the chance to walk away with both Mercs, Phantom's Obsidian Operative Loadout card, and Hunter's Special Edition Loadout card. To enter, just click the link, do the business, and cross your fingers. You have until Monday. We'll also be announcing the winners then too, so get to it. With the introduction of Hunter next week, we're going to be making some adjustments to the pricing in the store. More specifically, we're reducing the price of Artie, Red Eye, and Turtle. Artie's going from 35,000 credits to 30,000, Red Eye's going from 50 to 45,000, and Turtle's also going from 50 to 45. We're looking forward to seeing how often these mercs are picked up and played after these changes, so be sure to let us know if you're adding them to your squad. If you're following us on Twitter, then you may have seen this tweet pop up. Well, OCB member Andan has 3D printed and sent us some really cool stuff, including a sticky bomb, blowtorch, Phantom's Obsidian Katana, and Sparks Reviver. These are awesome, and you should really check him out. For Dirty Bomb gameplay, hit up his Twitch channel, and to see what he's printing next, head over to his YouTube. In fact, in the run-up to the next update, he'll be printing some special stuff, so you really should subscribe. Thank you. Last week, your reported issues were view arm skins, daily rewards, and loadout card updates. For view arm skins, it's a bit annoying having a shiny skin, but default first person character arms. This won't be for much longer though, as this is being worked on right now and will be in an upcoming update. For daily rewards, if you think you've missed one or haven't been granted something by mistake, drop a ticket to our support team and they'll sort you out. And for loadout card updates, we don't have any specific details to share with you just yet, but as soon as we have that info available for you, we'll let you know. Hunter's going live next week, so to celebrate, why not subscribe? <laughs>